<laughs> you see where I'm going with this, right? Hello everyone, welcome back to your favorite show, Puppy Patrol. My name is Neiman and your co-host Kale is the only online present from Chicago because we are in LA. We're about to pick up our next guest that we're so excited about and go on a little puppy patrol ride. Let's do it! Hello! Hello! Hi! Oh my goodness! We'll want a share of the YouTube profits so that we can. Oh, okay, later. yes, then the contract. Yeah. Goodness, how are you? I'm doing great. I'm so excited to have you on a Puppy Patrol show. Uh, I'm excited too. Question number one for you Can yes. you please introduce yourself uh -huh. and introduce adorable puppy that you have in your lap? Sure, my name is Joanne Molinaro mm -hmm. and this is Lulu Bell. That's not really her name. Her name is Lulu, but I call her Lulu Bell. Lulu Bell? Mm -hmm. Is that because she's so pretty? Exactly. Oh uh, my goodness. She is bellissima. Bellissima, so Lulu Bell. Uh -huh. Lulu Bell Molinaro. Oh, si. I really like that a lot. Okay, mm -hmm. so I have a question for you. Do you watch Puppy Watch Full Show? I do. Of course. Okay, oh mm -hmm. my god, it makes me so happy. So you must be so excited too. I'm like really excited and a little nervous. Oh <laughs> my god, well don't be nervous. All the questions are gonna be very easy. Uh, before we uh, start our conversation with Lulu, I just wanna say that you had a lot of dogs through life, right? I've had I wouldn't say a lot. I mean, it's not like I've had like 20 dogs, but uh -huh. I've had a dog in my life uh, for the past two decades. For the past two decades. Do, do you remember uh, who was your first ever dog? Yes. Yeah, what, what was his name? His name was Hemingway. Hemingway? Yeah. Oh my God, and how long ago was that? How old were you? Were you just a little girl or? No, I was in law school. In law school already, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So that was absolutely your decision. Okay, I'm mm -hmm. gonna have a dog, right? Because a lot yes. of people get introduced with a pet through the via family, mm. but for you was your own decision. It was, but you know, it was our family's decision because I still lived with my parents at the time. Uh -huh. So obviously, I needed to get their buy-in, and okay. I, you know, we had it. And uh, yeah, I must say that's very Korean of you to live with your parents <laughs> oh, through sure. the amazing. <laughs> I've lived with my parents as long as I could. Yeah, I lived with my parents until I got married. Oh, uh, it's perfect. <laughs> that's that's the way it's supposed to be. So in some families, yes. <laughs> love it, love it. So, um, how was the family supportive of your wish to have your first dog? My mom has always had a dog too, uh -huh. like in her childhood. My grandmother, her mother, loved dogs. Uh -huh. So I think I get my love of dogs from my from your mom and grandmother. her yeah. and her mom. Yeah. Oh my god! So it was more just, you know, balancing that against my mom's concern that it would be difficult and mm -hmm. hard to take care of a dog and you know it would be messy and things like that but in the end obviously because i had you know we had hemingway then we dog sat another dog mitzi for a long time mm -hmm. for like almost a year and then we got daisy and then we you know had billy and um, my mom adopted her own dog charlie and then all of my aunts started adopting mm -hmm. dogs and so We've had dogs in our family, all of our families, for many, many, many years. The only dog of yours I've met is Rudy, um, and now Lulu. And Lulu. So tell me how did Lulu came to your life? Because I'm teeny tiny upset that I didn't even know. <laughs> like just picture of this dog appears on Instagram. I knew. <laughs> like I immediately knew she got a dog, <laughs> but you're not saying anything. Lulu just appearing <laughs> in the stories. There is no introduction yet. I think like you waited a month till you like said to the world like, hey, this is like a new member of my family. But I texted you immediately. <laughs> Who is the dog in your in your stories? Because like I could feel it. And then you said, well, I just have a dog now. <laughs> so yeah. how did that happen? It's complicated and it's not. I'll tell you the short story. Mm -hmm. The short story was I was on a website and looking for potential dogs to adopt. Mm -hmm. And, but I had like very specific um, idea in mind of the kind of dog that I think would fit best with 
my lifestyle and, and mm -hmm. my travel more importantly and, uh -huh. and all of that and my house and so I was looking and looking and I had been looking for a long time and I saw many dogs that I thought might fit, but mm -hmm. in the end, I just didn't feel emotionally ready to do uh -huh. it. And then I was having dinner with my friends, Cassie and Sam, and they have a wonderful dog, like a little tiny little dog, and, mm -hmm. and so we call him Sir George. And Sir George was so fun to play with, and he reminded me of how much I love playing with dogs. Mm -hmm. And they told me the story of how difficult it was to adopt a dog. You uh -huh. know, that it's just, you know they would submit application after application after application and they wouldn't hear back or if they did hear back I mean they would put them through all this rigmarole and at the end they would be denied and and mm -hmm. just this long arduous process and I was like oh god well if I want to adopt a dog I, I better get started right uh -huh. away and so I saw because you were thinking that it's it was gonna, gonna take lot. like three months or something. Uh -huh. So I saw her and I was like, okay, well I'm just gonna do it. And I just went for it. Like I literally uh -huh. filled out the application on my phone. I didn't tell anyone. I didn't even tell Anthony. Uh -huh. And then um, I submitted the application. And then the next day I said to Anthony, I said, hey babe, um, we might have an interview to uh, adopt a dog <laughs> today or tomorrow. And that's it. That's all I said. And he's like, what? And I was like, yeah, you know, like I, I submitted an application. And he's like, okay, I guess. Uh -huh. And sure enough, I heard back a new organization. It's called Dogs Without Borders here in SoCal. Uh -huh. And they put me in touch with the foster um, parent who was parenting Lulu at that time. Uh huh. So she was she was not in a shelter. No, she was, no. Oh, she was okay. with the foster family. Thank uh -huh. goodness. She yeah. had been with the foster family for a few weeks, uh -huh. and we were put in touch. I did have to go through a bit of a rigmarole, nothing too major. Mm -hmm. And uh, I met with the foster family. We picked up Lulu, mm -hmm. and they were like, "Okay, well, you you can have her on probation until you're ready." And by the time we got home, I emailed them. I said, "We're ready." to adopt her <laughs> and, <Yeah>. and that's <laughs> it <laughs> uh, and that's how Lulu came into our lives yes and she's perfect oh uh, perfect okay now um I have a question about the name Lulu it's beautiful mm -hmm. I like it a lot was that the name that was given to her previously or you decided to change her name because people do that yeah we've done that too with uh, adoptees as well but mm -hmm. number one we discovered that Lulu was her original name so uh -huh. that was the name not I should say no her original name was Lucy Lou Lucy Lou and that was the name she'd had her whole life okay so I didn't want to change that because she's five years old and that's the name she's had and, and I just I thought that would be maybe too much for her but I also didn't that. like the name Lucy Lou I, especially because I'm Asian, I just thought that was weird. Uh -huh. and so, <laughs> Why? Explain it's, that it's to me. Because of the Asian actress, Lucy Liu. She's really? one of the most famous Asian actresses, and I didn't want people to think that I named my dog after a famous Asian actress. Oh my God, how <laughs> so, oh, I do not know that. Yeah, so but... I just didn't like that. So I decided, well, let's keep Lulu. Uh -huh. That sounds enough like her old name. But so she yeah. can recognize exactly. when you call her and everything. Mm -hmm. Well, that is beautiful. I really like Lulu. And like when I see her, she looks like Lulu. She does. So I agree. That's mm -hmm. perfect. Uh, what's your favorite thing about Lulu? My favorite thing about Lulu is how unfearful she is about loving. Mm -hmm. She loves everyone as evidenced by the way she acted when you walked through the door. Uh -huh. She will just jump into your lap, she'll hug you, she'll you know, want to cuddle with you for hours. She's just fearless when it comes to being vulnerable and, and showing how much she loves being with a person. And I think that's a really beautiful thing and it's what makes her so special. Oh my God, she is so special. And I love, you told me that normally she will for a second bark. Oh, squirrel, leave, leave the streets. <laughs> oh my God, squirrel in the middle of the street just hanging around car passing by and I just don't want anything to happen <laughs> to the squirrel. You told me she'll bark for a second, but then she will jump on people. She immediately, yes. immediately wanted my hug, wanted my love. And I just created unbreakable bond between yes. Lulu and me that I just adore so much. Where do, does Lulu sleep? Lulu sleeps in bed with us. Uh -huh. We gave her the option of sleeping in her own bed. Uh -huh. She has a huge bed uh, full of her toys and mm -hmm. my smelly socks because she likes my socks and stuff like that. But um, 
in the beginning she would often start in her own bed and then we'd wake up in the morning and she'd be snuggled up between us so now she just starts in our bed and ends in our bed perfect mm -hmm. so she would be in her bed but like by the time you're waking up she somehow found, found her way, way to you. Up to us. oh yeah. my god that it's amazing uh -huh. um and um, when it comes to um, taking her out right you comparing her with your husband anthony right um, it seems he's very attached to um, yes. to Lulu too, right? He like is. when you guys take her out for walks and stuff. Like where where do you go? How does she do with playing with other dogs? Like not much of an interest I hear. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tell me about that. First, uh, it, I should say Anthony is really more in charge of taking her out because uh -huh. he knows that I hate walking the dog like that's okay. one thing that like, <laughs> okay. I don't do very well I will do it but it's not something I enjoy and it's probably because I'm very antisocial and I don't want to bump into my neighbors <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> um, but it's uh, he's really um, green light oh cool yeah Anthony's <laughs> really good about taking Lulu out like five uh -huh. times a day or something like that and a lot of times it'll start with rather long walks like 15 minute walks around the neighborhood in the morning and and um, in the middle of the day, he'll often take Lulu to the dog park. We uh -huh. have a, a nice dog park here in our That's neighborhood. That's what I'm curious about. Yeah, uh -huh. and then we'll often take her to not a dog park, just another park. It's a big park and she can kind of walk around with the leash on, mm -hmm. of course, but she's got a lot more space. And um, in the evenings, we'll take her out very briefly because we're getting the sense that she might be a little afraid of the dark. And so she, she gets very tense and barky at nighttime. So we kind of take her out just to make sure she gets her business done and bring her back in. Uh-huh. Okay, now, mm -hmm. um, let's go back to that dog park, mm -hmm. right? Um, she's not very interested in playing with other dogs. And she gets a little annoyed when other dogs try to play with her. <laughs> yes. Right? <laughs> Do you know I know a person like that? <laughs> <laughs> you see where I'm going with this, right? Like, that is your personality. <laughs> it's like, like, I don't want to play with other kids, like, and I'm very annoyed if you try to play with me. Um, so, um, do you think that that's why you bonded for Lulu, or that's like she's already feeling your energy? I know. And she's like, well, mommy doesn't like this, so I'm not gonna do it either. No, she was like that from the beginning. Okay, because we were really <laughs> nervous about that. Like, uh -huh. I, you know, I know that I'm very introverted and shy, mm -hmm. but we knew for Lulu's health, it was very important that she be appropriately socialized. Mm -hmm. And we noticed right away that she had leash aggression issues. Uh -huh. Anytime she saw a dog outside for a walk, she just would lose it. I'm very familiar with leash aggression. Mm -hmm. Two of my dogs prior to Lulu have, has had that. So mm -hmm. we've dealt with it in the past and you know, in my opinion, there are a lot of different things you can do, but the most important thing to do is to make sure your dog understands that they don't have any reason to be afraid, that mm -hmm. you're you're there, you, you'll be the person for them. Uh -huh. And there are a lot of different ways to communicate that to your dog. But um, we also wanted to make sure that she was exposed to lots of other, other kinds dogs. of dogs, mm -hmm. not overwhelmed, but exposed. Mm -hmm. So again, I told you my friend Cassie and Sam, mm -hmm. they have a little dog, um, a little smaller than Lulu. Mm -hmm. That was a big test. How would they play together? Uh -huh. And she did beautifully with Sir George. Absolutely beautiful. Uh -huh. They're not like BFFs, but every time they hang out, they are more and more playful with each other. They run around, they jump around, Perfect. they do all the things that little dogs are supposed to do. But at the dog park, uh, she she gets in and she makes her presence known. She wants everybody to know, I'm Lulu and I'm the big dog here. So she's I arrived. Very, yeah, she's, I've arrived. She's barking and barking. And once she gets that out of her system, she kind of does her own thing. And Perfect. she does not, like you said, when the dogs try to play with her, she kind of like ignores them. And if they get a little too aggressive, like aggressively playful, never uh -huh. aggressive, but aggressively playful, then she'll be like, hey, leave me alone. I'm, <laughs> I'm not here for you. I wanted to ask you, that's with the small dogs and it's great, but she's fearless when it comes to the big dogs. I think she <laughs> pretends to be fearless. Very yeah. Do you think that's because mommy's here? So I know. I have like, no idea. We're still new to her. 
I'm I'm not new to my mm -hmm. dog Kale, but that's exactly experience I'm having. As like you were describing Lulu, I was like, that's exactly what Kale does. He will pretend extremely tough in front of the big dogs and almost like going to attack them. Yeah. And I'm like, don't do that because like I'm so scared. The, the the big dogs normally have a good heart yeah. and they're like so Gentle. um yeah. pacific and uh, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, very uh, peaceful but then I'm scared like if kale provokes them to the point that exactly. like then dog can finish kale in one bite exactly right yeah and there is no much we can do to um, to protect them so it seems they're very similar in that point okay exactly. one of my last questions for you would be how much do you talk to Lulu oh I talk to Lulu a lot mm -hmm. I mean, I remember, have you ever done that with like you always spoke with? I've your dog. always spoken. I always have conversations with my dogs, like in multiple accents. I usually uh, speak to them in Korean. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> but yeah. like Rudy, I would like, especially towards the end, I told him everything that I had in my heart. Like I probably told Rudy more than any living being on this planet. He knew everything. Like that would like to the extent mm -hmm. he could understand me. Like I told him all the things I couldn't even share with my husband. So everything that made me sad or everything that made me anxious or happy or excited or angry, I shared with Rudy. I would tell him on our walks, we'd go on walks and I'd just tell him everything on my heart. But mm -hmm. you know, that was a very special relationship that I had with Rudels. Mm -hmm. um, not, sh you know, Lulu, I love Lulu, but I've mm -hmm. only known her for three months. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> so mommy's still not telling you secrets, okay? No, I think still, we're not. But she tells you a lot of things, we, right? We have all sorts of conversations, but we're uh -huh. not at that level yet. Uh, okay, okay, good. And so you say you feel like your dogs could understand you. I think that they can understand my intention and emotion yeah. and mm -hmm. and how you how you feel. Okay, that's amazing. Well, this kind of answers my question uh, and the last question. I feel it's the most horrible one that I ask everybody on <laughs> oh, a puppy dear. patrol. Uh, and it's when I ask uh, people, do they love their dog more than they love a certain family members? Oh yeah. Uh, but <laughs> like, oh, you're not. There was no problem answering that question for you because that's when people hesitate because they're like, my family is gonna. Work watch this and like I'm just gonna say I love my dog. Uh, there are certain I... family members that I don't even like. like so. oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's <that's>, like obvious. <laughs> okay, good. Good. Well, you know who you are. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's very good. But I said you, uh, you answered that question by telling me that Rudy knew about you more than any other living soul. Yes. On the on the planet, well, this has been lovely. Lovely. Since um, Lulu knows the different, All accents. the different accents. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Well, now that was Montenegrin accent there trying to attempt something A British else. British accent. Yes, I I wasn't there. I wasn't daring to say. <laughs> Getting it. much better. But yeah, much better. <laughs> um, Lulu, thank you so much for being on my Bobby Patrol show. It was absolutely amazing to have you. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you, Joanne. Thank you. Uh, for tuning in and watching our little puppy patrol ride. And I will see you soon in the next episode. Love you all. Bye. Bye.